hey guys welcome back so last time we were able to create a contact we are able to add the contacts to favorite so in this one i want us to start working on adding a photo to a contact now the first step we are going to do is to create this bottom sheet which will be popping up to prompt the user to either open up a camera or choose a picture from the gallery so the way this bottom sheet works is it always comes from the the bottom when a, when we trigger it and a user can drag it down and it should go away or they or they can pull it back and release it and it should keep on so if a user clicks anywhere on the screen it should go away and yeah so it's gonna be interesting and guys if you're enjoying this content please remember to subscribe because i'm going to be making a lot of more interesting videos so yeah so let's get started now to work with the bottom sheet we will be using this library here called react native raw bottom sheet so we can quickly install it so i'm gonna come here installation is really easy so we can just yarn add it we don't need to link anything okay okay so for now what i want to show you is we are going to need to reuse this component here so you see right now we are on the contact detail and when a user doesn't have a picture we can show it like this so also when they go to the edit profile page we also are going to have the the same implementation so we are going to be creating a reusable component and then we will be reusing it in multiple places so that being said we have already installed it now the ios is booting up so what we want to do is actually log in remember we have our user since we are connecting the same backend actually i believe guys you can you're able to even use the same credentials but there is nothing much really okay so let me try to log in over here so since it's gonna be reusable we're gonna go to our common and then I'm gonna call it picker let's say called picture picker I'm just gonna call it image picker then inside we have index.js so in here we can have our rn our simple react native component so we can call it let's say image picker so inside the picker let's create an index dot a style.js file so in the style we can quickly get this i'm gonna copy it out and bring it here we can have export default style sheet create then we need to import style sheet of course so we can come over here make sure you're importing it okay all right so to use the picker notice here that we can specify notice here that we need to have the rb sheet so i'm gonna copy this whole thing i'm gonna copy it and bring it here uh that's here then we need to import it so we can import it from bottom sheet Let's import it like this so when it comes to refs this so when it comes to ref we are going to be passing a ref down here and when you pass a ref to a child component in react it's called ref forwarding so you can't directly pass a ref normally as you would pass props like this so what you want to do here is you want to do something like react react dot forward ref so when you forward ref like this you notice that it's going to give us the the props and also the ref that is going to be forwarded we can get the props and also the ref so the ref will always be the last that you need to pick so now that we've added the ref we can pick it here so ref equals ref and the other props are gonna be in here okay so when you forward the ref we return this then let's make sure everything is still good now since we are forwarding ref i believe we need to cross something let me see what we are not doing great so you know what guys let me remove this so that you can see properly what's going on so like i said this component is going to be quite different since we are forwarding the ref so we want to pick the props and also the ref like this so when we do that then we can have our normal component like this and in here we can do our return okay so looking good so now that we have our ref being passed down we don't really have to worry so much anymore we will have our options to pick from the camera 
also the gallery so those options are going to be a list so i'm going to have a const options here so it's going to be a list or an array now each of those is going to have a name an icon and also an on press so this one is going to be choose from oh take a photo take from camera then it's going to have an icon so the icon is going to be the icon component so we're going to import one so icon name will be camera for now then let's have an on press so when the camera is pressed we can do something for now it's going to it's just going to be a simple function that does nothing then we need a, we need a comma here then let's duplicate this for the second one so this one is going to be choose from gallery so choose from gallery so this can be image like this okay so this icon we need to import our very own now that we have our options we can map over them and show them in here so we can come over here and say options dot map so when we say dot map then we can destructure out the what we need so we need the name the own press and also the icon okay so when we do that we need to since we are destructuring we need to wrap in this syntax then we can now return a touchable so in here now we can have our icon so icon then we can have some text show the name so since we are mapping over a list we need a key so the key is going to be the name because we are sure it's always going to be unique okay so let's move this we don't want problems with it we need to be able to show this bottom sheet when we click on choose image so for now that's going to be here then i'm going to create a simple ref so actually instead of me having it inside the this jsx we can have the them in the screen so here we can have the sheet ref i'm going to call it sheet ref then we also are going to have a method to open sheet and another method to close sheet if we need to close sheet should be close bottom sheet so now that we have this we need to render our picker or our bottom sheet somewhere here so we can say image picker i believe that's how we called it then we need to give it a ref so the ref is going to be this ref here the sheet ref so let's also make sure we are importing it like this okay so now this is gonna do now let's go ahead and create these two the methods to close and open and also the declare the ref up there so i'm gonna go to the screen so that's gonna be in screens create contact so up here we can use the use ref hook to create a ref so const sheet ref it's gonna be user so initially it's gonna start out with current to be the current value is gonna start out to be null so also we want to create a function to open and close so const close sheet it's gonna be a simple function so we're gonna be checking if we have if we have a valid ref so we can check a valid ref by by checking if sheet ref dot current so if it has been assigned to something valid then we can say sheet ref dot current dot close okay so let's also have an open one so open sheet then we want to call open and these methods are available here i'm not getting them from heaven okay so once we have this now we can pass these to our child component so we will pass the ref so that's going to be the sheet ref it's going to be the sheet ref close sheet is going to be that open sheet is going to be that okay so now when we come here this is not clickable uh, clickable yet so we want to go to the component again and add some touchable stuff there so we're going to come here where we have the text so we're gonna wrap this inside touchable then let's have an on press so the on press will be to open the sheet like this so now if we come back again and click here notice that it opens up and it can close 
if we click anywhere else okay so this is good now most of the times you will find that on ios it's gonna have like some rounded borders on here here so what we can do to style that is we can go to our picker then here we can have some some border radius right and border radius top left so you will notice that there is no way to drag and drop it down so for us to be able to do that we're gonna have to add some props here so we're gonna have to add close on drag down let's also remove this actually so when you when we add these props you will notice that it adds that it adds this telling a user that they can drag it down so now let's go ahead and style this section of our content so we're gonna go here let's add a style to this touchable so style will be equal to style let's call it picker option picker option we don't have styles Are you serious let's import styles so import styles from styles like that so here we can have our picker option so let's send them left to right so flex direction row then let's give them let's give them some paddings from each other so padding top let's do like 20 so let's go ahead and also style the wrapper so i'm gonna come over here not even sure if you have a wrapper actually we don't so i'm gonna wrap everything in a view like this then i will move this one down of course so for this view we'll style it differently so style equals styles dot container will that do let me just say wrapper options wrapper then inside here you can have it and give it some padding horizontal of 20. so now that puts everything here which is looking better so about the icons let's make these uh, align item center so we can come over here and do align item center then for the icons actually let me do the text so let's do the text first or the name so this let's make them a bit bigger so we're gonna do font size something like 17 also let's give them some padding on the left so we can do padding left of something like 17 so that looks fine let's apply this style to the titles so we're gonna come over here where we have the name and put the style so style will be styles dot text and that's looking better so about the icons we're gonna come over here and also change them a bit so for the icons we can say color because we want them to be gray so colors dot gray not ray make sure we are importing colors also let's make them a bit bigger so size so size can be like 21 okay looking fine so let's repeat it for the other icon all right save it so yeah so for now we can click here we have this opening up right now we are not yet <coughs> handling the on click to pick the pictures from the gallery and the, from the gallery and also the the camera which is something we'll be doing next so if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you in the next video